Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to continue from where we stopped last time when we created the storefront video and in today's I'm going to color those randomized uh, video that, uh, sorry, the randomized uh, adaptive component that we've done here, those boxes and in it we really need to create a randomized uh, custom node I'm going to create it here within the old file or the, the, the previous file that I have and uh, just simply I'm going to create just a normal uh, string of nodes or a special script to be added here and then later on you can uh, or actually I can just do it if, if, if the time is available for this video to change it into the required custom node. Anyway if you can recall from the last time we have uh, three nodes here, custom node that created for us the uh, the adaptive component and distribute them in a different height and those are lists of the available uh, adaptive component rivet elements that created per each uh, of those three uh, surfaces that we have so those are rivet elements actually so and instead of doing this for each uh, you know for each uh, surface by itself I'm gonna combine them together and I'm gonna create uh, just create a list dot create here and of course for the three of them so we're gonna combine them to get rid of the repetition part as long as no one care for which one is to be picked first so that's what I'm gonna do I have now a, a, a list dot create so when you run that you should have get those three uh, listed that you have in the previous uh, three separated nodes here as a three separated sub listed as you can see that's really not the thing I really recommend for you to be done so usually have to flatten I miss a spell as usual so flatten that thing all right and careful I think in the dynamo 2 I think this is a cancel it for some reason I have no idea just uh, make sure if you have a different dynamo, dynamo uh, stuff. that's 1.3 I think Anywho, so now we have a, a continuous 156 uh, element, but they are not organized as you can see as a uh, as a nested and as a nested list. As you can see, they're just a continuous one list. That's what I want. Now I need to count them in order to create the color uh, randomized color function. So we need to go and count. So I'm gonna go this guy. It's all about counting. So when you go run this guy to give us an integer here, it's a one five six, which is exactly this number. That's what we need. Beautiful. Now we need to create uh, colors. So I'm gonna go uh, color dot by ARGB. This dude, the real colors I get. I just if you remember the picture that I show you in the previous video. Uh, it's just uh, you know I, I, I go I take the the, the picture from uh, the Axiom uh, Telecom uh, shop I put that in Photoshop and then I use the eyedropper to get the colors uh, in uh, in uh, in Photoshop so those uh, numbers that I have I just get them from uh, uh, Photoshop from the original image itself so one two eight for all the R and G and B I think this one the orange one. Oh no, this one the gray. It's two colors, gray and black, I believe. Uh, gray and orange, sorry. So we're gonna get this color first. And then you can go ahead and select that guy like this. Uh, that's the second color. This is gray. Uh, this dude is, I just wrote the number on a piece of paper here beside me. Otherwise I will never ever for, for remember them if I have to do that you know without the paper that's the red that's the R and the blue was something like uh, 39 so that's the that's the orange I guess and this dude is the gray as the majority goes to the mid level of the color anywho so that's those are the two colors that I want to uh, use in here and again I need to create a list so yeah that I want here yeah. those two babies have to be in the same list now if I run I should have get two colors color number one and color number two that doesn't make sense because you know we have a hundred and fifty six elements so well you know it won't be goes really well so again uh, first before you go you need to count those guys again 
But that's a step that I forgot to do in one of the videos that I added and fix it to the comments. And when you run that, you have, you know, two dudes here, only two numbers. Now you go A above, sorry, A divided on, on B, so you can get this dude divided on that, so you can create the number of cycles you want to repeat before you push that into list.cycle. The list.cycle, why I cannot click on it, okay, now twice. It takes the list, which is basically the list of colors, so those two things here, only two, and I have to repeat them 78 times in order to generate something close to 156. So now what I got is those numbers. You see, it's, it's just a, it's just uh, two lists actually, uh, what I've done here actually, it's wrong I think. It's, I have to take, it, to take the list a cycle from the colors which I've done. That's the two colors that I have. Oops, sorry, from the list, not from the color, sorry, my bad. So those two things here, that's what I want to, re to keep cycle or keep repeating because they are two, okay? You need to make them 156. So how you, to do that, you have to divide this guy on this guy as a count, so you know that you have to cycle them or repeat them uh, 78. Now when you correct the mistake, yeah, that's what I want. Uh, they are, you know, red, 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 or sorry, orange, orange, and then, you know, orange, black, orange, black, okay. If you apply them, they're going to be like with a rhythm, uh, red, uh, orange, black, orange, black, whatever, whatever crazy method driven, they're going to go and dynamic, going to, you know, communicate. We don't want that. We don't want that to be completely randomized. So now here the time is to go for a list dot shuffle. Okay, when you give that guy and you run, so we have a look and understand the difference between them. So it's one two eight two four four one two eight two four four. Now it should be you know should be two four four two four four one two eight one two eight and so on. So it's been you know shuffled in a random way to get uh, a different result rather than what we have here really organized. Now all I all you get to do now is to go to your basic main node. Now, lots of people start from the basic node, which is element dot override that's what we want override color view some people start from that and that's completely correct some people goes you know from the in, in, in a different way like uh, from the beginning to the end instead of the from the end to the beginning we need now the flattened list of elements so those are my elements so that's my elements and these are the colors so those all the elements now and those are the random color to them Let's run that, baby, and we can see now we get, you know, we get a randomized condition where two things together are there, then three, then one, and then two, and so on. It's a fully, fully based on, uh, you know, random's value f came from the shuffle node, as you can see, and uh, that's what we, uh, that's what we really wanted in order to get, you know, this job done correctly, as you can see. Now you have actually to go ahead and create your own custom node. So next time you just feed the colors you want and another input for the element. Don't ever just add a script like that. You know, you see all those guys, all those guys, I mean, okay? Or actually you don't need to combine them. So just, um, yeah. Maybe you need a flat flat list here. So just from here to the end, you have to create a custom node for them, and you just you know place it once, and you don't keep repeating yourself over and over each time you do that. And probably you're gonna make a mistake in here. I did now a mistake as as you can see when I was doing it. So imagine yourself keep repeating this mistake each time, and that is serious waste of time, guys. Anyway, I wish that you find uh, this uh, you know this video useful for you guys you can apply that in any other uh, in any other elements in any other you can use this actually in any condition where you want to apply a random curl to any group of surfaces they could be adaptive component they could be anything else you want any element any 
piece of furniture if it's allowed to have the color by default not by a specific value set by rivet main uh, setting properties anyway thank you very much for watching uh, uh, any comment any share any like i would really appreciate it. thank you very much and have a good day